Get your popcorn ready, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. This isn't right. The Amarja would never leave a place like this so poorly guarded. Not willingly. No. Well, the saviors of Iotia, slow as ever. By the Twelve, will you never learn? You know, you're right. Perhaps it is time for a change of tack. Killing primals, tormenting beastmen, hastening the birth of a new god. It's all a bit much, isn't it? Frankly, we don't have the leisure to do it. Killing the Warrior of Light, on the other hand. That would soon plunge Yortzir into chaos. One life for one world. A fair exchange. Wouldn't you agree? Lest you forget, you've got more than one opponent! Carbuncle, defend me! Well, well, well. Since you offer more than mere target practice, unlike your sister. Alice! Did I not tell you, Alphanaut? I'm not the girl I once was. If you would dare stand against us, to destroy all that we hold dear, you shall die by my sword! Then let us finish this. Oh fuck! Here we go, here we go. Wish me luck, chat. Hoping I'm fucked this up. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Right, who do we start on? We'll start on you, you fucking mage. You kick your mage ass. Check this out, and this, and this. All my cooldowns! Pop all my cooldowns! All of them! Every single one of them! Ah! All right, who's next? You! You, you fucking mage. You, 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 Hakushu. Bam, get wrecked. Get absolutely wrecked. Oh, you're fucked, mate. Done. See you later. Archer next. Take out the range. Let's go. Let's go. Wait! Where'd she go? Hey! Where's the lady? There she is. Say off! Oh, you guys are piss weak. You guys are absolutely useless. Alright, you're out. Who's next? You? Alright, let's take out you. Get absolutely fucked. <laughs> so you're 
get absolutely wrecked, man. Look at this devastation. Get a heal from Alfred. Oh, I can get my own healing. Check this out. Alright. <clears throat> Actually, no, maybe I do. Aha, you. The Warrior of Darkness. No, no, I'll take out your mates first. Oh! His friends respawn. Get fucked. Oh shit. I forgot to change that. Ray. It ends now. The chains. Snake, you would betray us as well. He that holdeth fast to his convictions shall never count betrayal amongst his crimes. Though all the world may call him a villain, my path is unchanged, my creed sacrosanct. This is what I believe with all my heart. But say, warrior of darkness, and speak true. What dost thou believe? That rendering up the souls of the world in service of the rejoining will grant it salvation? Nay. By the twelve. Yurianja! Well, well, bloody well. Looks like we found Yurianja's voice. Finally! God, you have no idea! How long I bang my head against the fucking wall trying to find your trying to find Yuri Angel's voice. And only in the guise of a villain did I find it. Right. My apologies, my dear Alfinard, that the brightest light of mine might shine. Duty did compel me to walk in the darkest shade. You sweet fool I was almost willing to believe that you turned against us. I expect a full explanation when this is over. For now, may I assume that you've turned your cloak for the last time? Thou mayest, my lady. By thy leave. My math homework. Sorry, 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 sorry. <clears throat> um, um. Even odds, then. No matter. We'll crush the lot of you with one fell swoop. Understood. Hearken to me. We have only one chance. Channel your ether into my blade, that I might strike before the mage casts his spell. I cannot do it alone, but together, we can defeat him. Make ready, they come. Let's fucking go. Chat, I'll be with you after this. I'm in the middle of something right now. Channel ether into her blade. Wait, how? How? How do I do that? How? Help! Free! How do I channel ether into her blade? Can you fucking stop attacking me? Stay dead. Right! Nailed it! Holy shit. There should be a big fucking sword that you're supposed to click on. Not a tiny bit of text inside like a thousand special effects. Yeah! America! Enough fucking about. 
Let's do this. Sorry, are you hurt? Touched Izzy. Otherwise, fine. Thank you. And there you have it. Our friend is too stubborn to die. <laughs> we are far from finished. Or have you ever considered how we came to this world? Crystals? You mean like the Ashians? Just so, as the Ashians flee unto the rift to explains with the crystals of darkness, so these warriors of light come hither with the crystals. Eloquent as always. Aye, like the Ashians, we too are beyond death. You cannot defeat that which is eternal. Wait! Such methods the Ashians employ require the renunciation of the flesh. You would have had to. At the long last, you see, to save our world, we gave our lives. We were just adventurous, trying to make our way. A odd job here, a favor there. We never aspired to be warriors of light. But words of our deeds spread. Soon people were calling us heroes. They placed their hopes and dreams on our shoulders. Bid us fight for all that was good and right. We fought, and we fought, and we fought, until there was no one left to fight. We won. And now our world is being erased from existence. We did everything right! Everything that was asked of us, and still, still, it came to this. You of all people should understand, we cannot, we will not falter. We brought our world to the brink of destruction, and now we must save it. I've died before, King Albert. I'm not afraid to die again. No matter how many times we fall, we must rise and carry on the fight for those we left behind.
to have known the depths of sorrow, embraced the highest sacrifice nonetheless. Master Lusua, guide my hand. I pray you, as fate's thread spinneth upon this most capricious spindle. Quickly, you must need invoke the power of the crystal. Mother Heitelin, hearken unto your children's plea. From two worlds do we gather, from two worlds do we offer bounty of light. In this desperate hour, we do beseech your intercession. We beg an audience with the word of the Mother, with your chosen, Minfilia. Your cries go not unheard, nor your sacrifices unnoticed. Though many are lost, there are those we can yet save, with whom I can yet save. Minferia! Blessed children of the forest, the light of your world has grown blinding in its radiance. It's not yet absolute. I will hie me to your world and take unto myself the light which riseth ever to drown it, as darkness once did drown another. Now! Now you deign to answer our prayers! I will suffer this farce no longer! I'm going to go back to... Originally, Minfili was Scottish, but I'm going to actually change it to a new one. As the Ashians must serve as instruments of Zodiac's will, so too must others carry out the will of Hydaelyn. But for the boon you have granted her, she's grown strong enough to set me free that I might serve as her emissary. Your suffering your sacrifice, your supplications. She has heard all. We will not let the first light fall. Thank you, Yurianja for bringing everyone here. It fills my heart with joy to look upon the faces of my friends once more. In taking your unto her bosom, I knew that Heidelin had bequeathed you a sliver of her grace, granting your strength long sought. And in treating with the Ashians, I learned of a star unlike our own, 
a doomed world of fallen heroes in whom I glimpsed ourselves, the first. Full long did I search for a means to save this world, concluding at the last the answer lay in the power of the blessed crystals. Thus did I labor to set light against dark. Yet I knew from the beginning this salvation would not come without sacrifice. And thank you, Loopy Orc, for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. Chat, I will be with you after the scene. For the instrument of the first deliverance would be of necessity. Be required to journey thither. There to remain. Mayhap forever. You orchestrated all of this. Not just to save her, but to send her away. One life for one world. Such was the bargain, you the coin, though it was not mine to spend. Have we not walked together in the light of the crystal, and at her bidding borne witness to the joys and sorrows of this land? Each and every one of you knows my heart, if this be the price I must pay, I pay it gladly. You would go alone then. Thank you, Junette Ovo, for the follow. I will respond to chats when the scene is over. My dearest Thancred, you who have ever watched over me, I am truly grateful for all you have done on my behalf, as my father would be. Your kindness, your compassion, your love. These are your gifts to me, and our gifts to them, forming a bond which transcends time and space. Sometimes I forget you're the child I once knew. It makes me proud. Long have I watched you from Hydaelyn's side. Long have you nurtured and kept safe the light of the dawn. The dark recesses of the world hide untold secrets and dangers. Thus do I entrust you, Tsumati. I pray you to keep the path that you may never have need of it. seem the power of our crystals is all but spent. Perhaps there is nothing else to be done. Hear me, servant of Hydaelyn. If you would have us place our trust in you, I would ask a favor. Take us with you. Take us home. blind to the truth once, so I tell you this, as one fool to another. Light, dark, it doesn't matter. What matters is how you choose to use them. 
We made our choice. You see what came of it. So please, forge a different path. Seize a better fate. Is a strange feeling. So many times have I watched you depart, my heart filled with worry, and ever did you return to me in triumph. Some day, when I have found a way to free the star from her sorrow, I promise you, I shall repay the favour. <laughs> 